Story number one. Okay. In Orlando, on a Thursday afternoon, a manager at the burger barn received a call from a customer complaining that he felt weird after visiting the restaurant the day before. The manager didn't think anything of it until he received five more calls the same day. He then decided to check security footage from the previous day and noticed something strange. His cook kept reaching in his pocket and putting something onto the burgers. Further investigation revealed that the cook was replacing the mushrooms with psychedelic mushrooms. When police interrogated him, he confessed that he overheard that he was going to get fired and wanted to get back at the restaurant by ruining their reputation. I That's want, like Carrie Underwood before he cheats kind of stuff. Yeah, there. I, I kind of don't want to be true. So now that just unlocked a new fear. <laughs> All right. Story number two. In Tampa, on a Wednesday afternoon, the manager of a Bank of America was informed that a blue sedan was blocking the ATM in the drive through The manager of the bank walked up to the car to find an unconscious man behind the wheel. After beating on the car window for some time, the driver started to stir. When he woke up, the driver rolled the window down and then asked the bank manager for a burrito. When the manager told him he was not at Taco Bell, he drove away. Police found the man in a nearby parking lot, still in the car under the influence of Xanax and Oxy. <laughs> I, first of all, both of those are, are riveting stories. But I'm going to go with story number two is fake. And the reason I say that is because you put Taco Bell and we were just talking about Taco Bell last week. Story number one. Is fake? Is fake. No. Oh, no. Gosh, dang it. So here's the thing. The psychedelic I found, mushrooms? I intentionally picked out the story with Taco Bell because of your reasoning with Instagram. Oh, the fact that you so thought I wouldn't stupid. make it up. <laughs> and since I knew that we had talked about Taco Bell, I was like, I'm going to use that story. Hopefully that's what trips him oh, up. Oh, and it tripped me up. Yeah, it's a story number one I made up. Oh, that's a great makeup. Thanks. Wow. Good job, man. 